Braulio says, recently my keyword planner started showing ranges for search volume. Yeah, Braulio, that's because unless you're an advertiser with Google now, they, uh, they just give you limited data for keyword search volume. And that's trying to force more people into the AdWords platform. I, I totally understand. Fortunately, I'm doing a lot of AdWords stuff now. <laughs> but uh, he says, what would you recommend besides paying for a campaign? Would there be a way to set up a campaign without ever having to pay? I don't know, Braulio. Honestly, I haven't tried to hack my way around that yet because I'm I'm a paying advertiser now for multiple campaigns and clients and AdWords accounts. So honestly, I have all the data I need. So it's not something I've spent the time to do. Does anybody else here know of a workaround for that yet? Yeah, I would tell him it, it might not work anymore, but I would tell him to go ahead and set set his daily budget, set it as high as he wants. It doesn't matter, right? Pause a campaign. And then, yeah, pause the campaign and see if see if, if it works around into giving you the, the information that you're looking for. Yeah, that's a good idea. Set up a YouTube ads campaign or something uh, and then just pause it and then see if that'll, I don't know if that'll free it up for you or not, but that's that's probably one thing that I would try, Brawley. I'm assuming you probably already tried that, but if you haven't, I would attempt that first. And then other than that, um, I really don't know what to tell you. I'm using AdWords so much now, like it just is, you know, personally, I don't know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know where else to look. I don't really care about search volume for SEO terms for the most part. Um, and I haven't for, God, a year and a half, two years now, because what I like to do for SEO terms is look, because remember AdWords or uh, the Keyword Planner guys is an AdWords tool. It's not an SEO tool. And so the search volume, things like that, it's it's different. They're they're. It's not the same as looking at organic search volume. A better tool, which doesn't give volume metrics um, would be uh, Google Trends. Google Trends is better for actually finding terms for SEO than ad, the, the Keyword Planner is, in my opinion. Um, I think Trends is a better tool for that. And then, obviously, once I have developed my seed set of keywords, then I drill down to the, on those seed, that seed set uh, using PowerSuggest Pro or some other type of Keyword Suggest scraper. I just happen to think PowerSuggest Pro is the best. Um, and then they don't give search metrics either or, uh, you know, search volume numbers either. All I, all they do is just return a bunch of long tails for my seed terms. But those are keywords that generate traffic because they're suggested phrases. And I know I've talked about this before, but the thing is, especially with mobile, like, you know, more than, what, 60% of all search traffic now comes from mobile. And that's why suggest phrases are so good because when somebody starts to do a search on mobile, they're, first of all, they're either speaking their search in or if they're starting to type a search in, then uh, the, half of the, the, the mobile screen is taken up by the keyboard and the other half becomes the Google suggested phrases, right? And so there really is like mobile search traffic, unless it's been spoken into the search, um, you know, it, most mobile traffic comes from suggested phrases. And so that's why I like to use suggest terms because even though you can't a lot of the times get any uh, volume data on those terms, it still ends up being traffic producing keywords because people are searching for mobile and they just tap to complete the search string instead of actually typing it all out. And so suggested phrases are a huge traffic source. 